Hello, my name is Isabella and I will be your host today for another mathematics video brought to you by RJ. My question for you today is, can we force a bijection? More accurately, can we force a function to be bijective? First, let us define a few terms. Bijective, definition, both injective and surjective. Injective definition. For each image, there exists only one pre image. Another way of thinking of injectivity is this plot the graph of a function. Take a horizontal straight edge and move it downwards on the graph. If at any time more than one point touches the straight edge, the function is not injective. Surjective. Definition. For each image, there exists some pre-image. Now, the process I'm about to show you only works if we have a finite starting point and its image is finite. The reason should be clear by the end of the video. Here we have a random function. As we can see here, it does have a starting point. We can also see it is not bijective since it is not injective, meaning there are multiple pre-images for certain images. Here's the fun part. Let's define another function where we sum up all the values from the starting point to each point of the original function. This should give us an increasing function, but we have a problem here. Points like this one are negative and we know only a positive number plus a positive number equals a larger number than either of the original two numbers. So, we need to shift our original function vertically. How much? One is the smallest positive number. Another requirement for this process to work is we need to know the lowest value of the function, and that is finite. If the lowest value is negative infinity, this process will not work. So we shift the original function vertically in the positive direction by the difference of the lowest value and one. Then we have a function that contains all positive images and therefore the images for our new function are always increasing. We have a function that is bijective, of course, this new function is not equal to our original function, but you can... Actually, how do you think this new bijective function could be useful as it pertains to the original function? For those of you who would like to see the math, here it is. This represents our original function. This is our original function with the vertical shift. The y is the lowest value of the original function. This is our bijective function. The a is the pre-image starting point. Suppose we don't know the formula for the original function but we know the formula for the partial sums of it, which would be easier to figure out since it's bijective. Could we then find a formula for the original function? I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.